hello guys in this video we will be discussing about the absorbing state so basically this means a state i is said to be a absorbing state if probability value p i j is 1 when i equal to j that means this i and j should be equal then the value of the probability should be 1 and uh, otherwise it should be 0 okay so let us see what is the meaning of this and what we call the absorbing state So here we have one example of a P matrix is there. Okay, here let me just show you how to just compare these values. So here we have the comparison of a matrix. So here we can see the elements as you know we can name it as P11, 12, 13, 14, like that so on till the P44. Okay. So, ij meaning if the ij values are equal, that means p11 and p22, p33, p44. The meaning of pij is i and j are equal, that means we have to see p11, 22, 33, and 44. Otherwise, it should be zero. The main thing here is that for the observing state, you have to see row wise. Each row you have to compare and see. See the first row of the matrix P. Here we can see the first element which is nothing but P11. You have to see this criteria that is nothing but PIJ. IJ is equal to what? 1, 1. So P11 should be what? 1. Otherwise, P12, P13, P14, that should be what? 0. So we can see that the first row is a uh, absorbing state. Is in what? Absorbing state. Let us see the second row in which the 2, 1, P21 comes under this criteria, right? P21. The IJ value are not equal. 2 and 1 are not equal. So it should be 0. It is 0. The second element of the second row is P22. P22 it's nothing but i j value are equal that should be one but here it is half one by two so therefore this row is not uh, in absorbing state let us see the third row here let us see first the i j equal value that is p 3 3 p 3 3 should be what one here it is not one p 3 3 should be one other elements should be zero but it is not the case so this row also is not in absorbing state let us see the last row of p matrix which is p4 that means the fourth row fourth row so here let us see the p44 value ij equal so 4 and 4 are equal p44 value is 1 and the other elements are 0 just observe this so other elements are 0 therefore we can say that this two uh, the rows the first row as well as the fourth row are in what absorbing state let us see 3 cross 3 matrix which is a square matrix what happens here this first element p11 11 basically means what ij value are equal 2 2 ij value are equal 3 3 ij value are equal we have to see each row first row p11 value is 1 the other value should be what zero otherwise it should be zero so here you can see it is zero so we can say that the first row is in absorbing state second row if we consider p22 that should be one here it is one other elements should be what zero it is so the second row is also in absorbing state the third row p33 i and j value are equal so it should be 1 so it is other elements are 0 0 this is also in what absorbing state so in conclusion we can state say that this is completely in absorbing state why because all the three rows are in absorbing state but in this case 4 cross 4 matrix square matrix here we can say that the r1 and the r4 are in what absorbing state the other rows are not in absorbing state because we know that we have to see this criteria p1 ij basically means what 
you have to see i and j value if i say p11 that means i value is 1 j value is also 1 both are equal that value should be equal to what 1 okay we have to see each row not the whole thing we have to see each and every row then decide whether it is a absorbing state or not